All right, here with Dave Richmond, uh, the Bison men coming off two wins on the Dakota Showcase. All three of the games down in Sioux Falls at the Pentagon, really tight games. Yeah. And I, they had some league feel to them, even though they were not conference games. No question about it. And we talked to the guys, you know, in, in uh, film and pre-practice stuff yesterday. Just, you know, you're four or five possessions and it is your 3-0 and or your 0-3. And, and I think that really sum summarizes conference play and, and good teams and teams that you're prepared against and, and also vice versa that are prepared against you. And um, it was good, though. It was really good for us to, to see those teams. More importantly, it was good for us to go against some pure institutions that, that look similar to us and, you know, length, athleticism, size, as, as we kind of, you know, were at times over our head with the high major opponents that we were playing. Now you had mentioned that, how playing similar opponents to what you guys are for three games is really the first time you've had a chance to do that. So what was the biggest thing or things that, that you took away from the, the weekend out Well, there? I just think there's a lot of takeaways. That's that's the big thing is, you know, you go against some of the high majors and, and, and no offense, that they're probably not putting a whole bunch of time into the scouts. Let's just go out there and pressure them. And, and, and that's one thing for us to go against offensively. But when you break that wave of pressure, there's usually something on the backside pretty good for you. Now you go into these games and you're scouted a little bit better based on your strengths and weaknesses, based on our personnel. And, and now we're going to go back and adjust. I think we're, we're finding some things that we have some strengths compared to our opponents. We're also finding some weaknesses. And, and it, it's really been kind of fun, Brian. It really has. And, and it, we missed some opportunities because of no exhibitions, no scrimmages, because of no peer institutions early in the non-conference schedule. And, and so we're still sitting here today on December 14th, 15th this whole week. Is, it works out really good, finals week, but we're also implementing some things. We're also cleaning up some things. We're also making some defense adjustments to put guys in better situations to be successful. And I think ultimately that's great because in a lot of ways this is a development year for the rest of this year and, in, in, and on to next year and us being that same group um, together for the next uh, year and a half. You know, the one thing you have told me repeatedly is how much you really like this group yeah. of kids and how everything just is working together really well. In terms of what they do or what you do, what are you most pleased with throughout this non-conference season? Well, you, you can see it, especially in that North Dakota game. We were tired. Uh, it was some ugly, ugly basketball, <laughs> right? And But they really like each other, and they're tough. They're really, really tough. They're really, really resilient. And, and I think it, you are a reflection of your leadership. And Sam and, and Tyree and Rocky have just done a tremendous job of, of refusing to quit. And it, what I'm most pleased with is, is certainly it's pretty evident that we're still finding our identity and who we are offensively. But that when we've struggled offensively, um, you know, teams haven't just completely gapped us and we've been out of the game. We've been able to hang around enough until we can figure out within that game what we can do offensively to keep it close. And, it, you know, it took us almost 35 minutes against North Dakota, but we made some adjustments really late. Uh, but fortunately, we just defended. We rebounded and we're starting to take better care of the ball to keep us in those games. And, and now hopefully we can do some things to start better, um, to get some leads, uh, to play from in front once in a while. <clears throat> All right, man. Good luck. We'll see you after Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy holidays, Brian. <laughs>